Okay, we're going to paint this little hummingbird now. There, actually, what's going to be here is some salvia. I will paint that over the over the floor. But right now, I want to do my little hummingbird. Get him in, and then I can put the salvia in just the right orientation there for him to be there. Happily sipping nectar. So I'm taking a mixture of meridian green plus white. And that's going to be his little green head. And I was very careful to kind of paint the floor, the floor around my sketch so that I still have my drawing there that I can, I can follow. Now I'm using some of the paint left over from my sky for his little belly. It's in shadow. And it doesn't matter if I pick up a little bit of that green on my brush. His little tummy's in shadow here. The ends of his tail feathers are very dark. So I'm using a mixture of my mud, which is two parts ultramarine blue to one part glycerin crimson. Just makes a nice dark. And those little tail feathers, I'm painting wet into wet so I can soften the, the edges of those feathers as they kind of go back. That helps to give a little movement to this guy. Now his, he's a ruby throat. So this is a mixture of alizarin, well this is just plain old alizarin crimson, not mixed with anything. Catches a little bit of that green in there, but I can, I'm going to come back and take then some of my alizarin crimson plus a little bit of white in there to just catch a little highlight. The light's coming in from the left. So the back of his neck is going to be highlighted a little bit the, where the red here is on his. Actually, I think I'm going to use some cadmium red light. That'll make us a nicer bright. And then that alizarin crimson is down here on the shadow side. My brush picked up a little bit of that brilliant green, which dulls the, the red on this side, which is okay. Now I need to smooth out that edge so I can just use pull some of my background color here. There we go. Now there's going to be a highlight on his head. So I'm using white plus a little bit of Viridian green. And then his beak is dark. So I'm going to use my mud again. And I just brace my hand against the, the lower part of the canvas, the lower edge. I may have to come back and thin his beak out a little bit, but let's let's get this in first. And his eye. We're working pretty tiny here, but I want to get his kind of the feel for his eye. Now I'm going to bring a little more of the green on top of his head so he stands out a little bit from the background. And then I want to get the lighter, my little highlight. Let that green go on the back of his neck there. Now for his wings, I'm using some of my mix that I use for the tree trunks. Their wings are a gray. He's going to have a flash of green on the back wing on the top edge, but Right now I'm going to use this gray, and, and this was a mixture of mud plus cadmium orange plus ultramarine blue. Again, I just let that feather into the, the background. And then there's going to be a flash of green 
on his back and his wing over here. And then the, the feathers then going out are darker gray. I'm just going to let the machine get that. When you're painting, it's just get too many interruptions answering the phone and so many a times it's something that's it's not important. If it's important, they'll leave a message. If it's not important, they won't. Particularly with elections coming up so many times, it's people wanting to know, well, are you going to vote this, that, or the other? And I just don't have time for that. You can lose a lot of time when you're painting by answering the phone, answering emails. I have designated times to do that. And that makes gives me my more efficient painting time. Now I'm going to do a little highlight on the top edge of this front wing. And that actually has a little more of an angle on it. Now I'm going to, let's darken this back here. And then there's going to be a, this gets a little green on it, a little highlight there. Now I want to soften this edge, so I just clean my brush, wipe it with tissue, and I want to soften this edge. And this edge also, I want the top of this wing. We want to soften that just a little bit also into the background. Needs a little more light on that wing just to bring it forward to, or to highlight it so we see it against the floor. The, the sun's catching. going to highlight his head just a little bit more. And then his back is going to catch a little highlight. Right in here. I want to make this a little more red here. Well, I'm picking up that green, which is got a little of my Viridian green in there, and red and green make a brown, so it's I have to kind of lay my color on there to get it to be more red. Come back here and Do some of my background color. And then his belly comes right in here. Lighten up just a little bit. That phone is just not crazy. Now I'm going to put his little feet in there. And then he's got a little white here on the back of his neck where the light hits him. And that's, that's our little hummingbird. But, oh, I need one more thing. I need to highlight this red again. That ruby throat just with my cadmium red light. That gives him a little brighter. There we go. And that is our little hummingbird. Let me do one more thing right here. 
one little highlight there and then I want to make this front feather a little bit darker. There we go. And there's our Mr. Hummingbird. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel. I also have a blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process of my paintings. So you can see the entire process of this painting and see the finished, how it looks when it's finished. The link to the blog is in my description below. It's also on the final frame of my video. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day and thank you again for visiting the studio.